His punches are becoming much more wild. Much There's more a right hand. Dots that uppercut. He is in trouble. Alvin Tam smells blood. Alvin's redemption fight. I think you got redemption. Noong taong 2013, nang lumipat si Alvin Tam sa Canada, ay sabay niyang haharapin ang bagong pag-asa sa larong palakasan. Matapos siyang matalo via knockout laban sa isang Meksikano na si Cuatimoc Vargas na ginanap sa Japan. Pinagpatuloy ng Pinoy ang kanyang karera sa boxing at napasama nga ito sa mga itinatampok na laban ng dekada contender na may layuning pasikatin ang boxing sa Canada. Bago ang lahat mga kaibigan ay huwag nyo pong kalimutang pindutin ang like at subscribe button. Nag-a-upload po tayo ng video isa o higit pa kada linggo. Sa tatlong sunod-sunod na pagkatalo ng ating kababayan na mula sa Kapangan Binget, sa wakas ay nakakuha si Alvin Tam ng isang malaking tagumpay sa pamamagitan ng pag-knockout ng kanyang kalabang Meksikano noong Enero 27, taong 2018 sa Grey Eagle Resort and Casino, Calgary, Canada. Samahan niyo ako mga ka-highlights at balikan natin ang napakagandang laban ng ating kababayan na nagbigay karangalan sa ibang bansa sa pagpapakita ng kalidad ng mga atletang Pinoy. Sa labang ito, si Alvin Tam ay may kartadang 13 wins, 6 losses and 3 knockouts. Samantalang ang Meksikano na si Arturo Garcia Lujano ay may kartadang 8 wins, 11 losses, and 3 knockouts. Sa unang round, agresibo ang Meksikano at gustong kontrolin ang laban. Pero hindi naging epektibo ang galawan ni Lujano sapagkat nakakounter ni Alvin ang mga suntok nito. Nayayanig ang katawan ng Meksikano sa tuwing natatamaan ng suntok ng Pinoy. And for Alvin Tam just trying to find a way to get inside, and there was quite low when he was dodging that punch. He was not in a position to counter with a split second that Arturo had his hands down. Good body shot exchange by both fighters. Alvin getting really low, trying to come inside. Chris Beck, Chris Jab, and again a feeling. Six rounds is a serious business. This is not something where these cool, huge shot by Arturo. This is not something that these guys can go out and take all of their gas. They'll do that adrenaline rump in the, excuse me, in the first round. And that's perhaps one of the things that happened in the first fight with Alvin Tam. He was very aggressive in round one against Jesus Perez. A little more measured here in round one. Sa pangalawang round ay naging maingat na si Lujano. At kalaunan ay pinili nitong makipagsabayan na kung saan dito Leamado ang Pinoy. Coming out with the blue trunks, silver trim, Alvin in the red trunks with the gold trim. Both fighters ready to put on a show here in the second of a six round war. And good catch by Scobie seeing some water in the corner of Alvin Tam and uh, instructing his corner to clean it up. Alvin parrying those shots as Arturo is trying to get in, trying to get under his skin. Alvin cutting down the distance. And just not pulling the trigger right now is Alvin Tam. He's getting in positions to throw the punches but isn't throwing them. And you hear Doug Harder is just working Tam is just not want to get caught. I mean, I think that's his biggest fear is getting caught, not because of the pain. Uh, Alvin again working him in. Good use of the ropes there by... Uh... And again, look at the power that these guys are throwing with. For 135 pounds, these guys are throwing punches like 165 pounders. I mean, it's incredible the strength that they're able to display here, being that they're 132 pounds. Arturo, a little bit of a smile there, knows that was. Sa umpisa ng round three ay nagpakawala ng isang knockout punch si Lujano at nadaplisan ang ulo ng Pinoy. 
makaraan ng ilang segundo ay bumawi si Alvin Tam at kumonekta ng malakas na kanan sa panganang Meksikano at muntika na nga itong manakdown. Sa buong round ay di na nakabawi si Arturo Lujano. Sinubukang bumawi ng Meksikano sa fourth round at dahil sa kabisado na ni Alvin ang galaw ng kalaban ito pa ang naging umpisa para matapos agad ang laban Nakabukas ang depensa ni Lujano at dito sinusundot ni Alvin ng malalakas na suntok na siyang nagpabagsak kay Arturo Lujano sa loob ng dalawang minuto. Uh, the entirety of the uh, Filipino uh, Canadian society that, that runs here in Calgary, they, I, it's a big deal for them and they come out to support their fighters. And so passionate, so passionate behind supporting their fighters and their champions. That's a vicious why. left hand. That is uh, a left hand and I believe that Luano is not quite there because he's throwing these punches but he ate a nasty left hand from Alvin Tam. His punches are becoming much more wild. Much There's more a right moving. hand. That's that uppercut. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Joel Scobie stops about at 1 minute and 55 seconds of the fourth round for the winner by TKO. Redemption fight. I think you got redemption. I think they think you got redemption. Now, do you think you got redemption? Uh, first of all, I want to thank God for giving me this opportunity and my family. 
family for their full support on what I do. And all the boxing fans who came here to watch. This is possible because of you guys. Especially to the Filipino community and the Igorots. Maraming salamat. Salasalamat ka na kayo. Now, Alvin, you came out and looked like very calculated at the beginning of the first round. You were using your gauge to understand what his length was, which was a bit of your troubles in your last fight. Did you feel that that was your game plan? You stuck to it when it came to fighting a long fighter. That's my coach's plan, just to uh, measure him first before we go inside. And uh, let him tire before we attack. And you did that, and you hurt him, that's for sure. We got the best team here. So we need it. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, you heard it here. Alvin is the judge. Look here for your winner, Alvin.